China is known for its vast infrastructure and colossal projects. The Great Wall of China spans thousands of miles and stands as a monumental testament to ancient engineering. China's cities, like Beijing and Shanghai, boast impressive skyscrapers that touch the clouds. Additionally, China's high-speed rail network is unparalleled, covering thousands of miles and connecting major cities. The Three Gorges Dam is another monumental structure, holding the title of the world's largest hydropower project. With a reservoir so huge that it even slows down the Earth's rotation, the sheer scale of this structure is unlike anything the world has ever seen before. The Three Gorges Dam stands as both a huge achievement and a source of concern. While it provides power to millions, it faces ongoing scrutiny for its structural integrity. Moving forward, we'll discuss the immense Three Gorges Dam, a colossal mega-project that has captured global attention. The Three Gorges Dam is a structural marvel in terms of sheer scale. Its concrete structure reaches a towering height of 181 meters, 594 feet, and stretches a staggering 2,335 meters. 7,661 feet in length, making it one of the largest concrete dams in the world. The dam's structural magnificence lies in its ability to withstand enormous pressures. It effectively controls the mighty Yanks River, with a reservoir capacity of over 39 billion cubic meters. The dam's primary functions include flood control, electricity generation, and improves navigation along the river. The Three Gorges Dam boasts the world's largest power station. To put this into perspective, the Grand Coulee Dam, the most powerful in the United States, has only a quarter of the Three Gorges capacity. Notably, even nuclear power plants cannot rival its immense capacity. Mao Zedong envisaged the Three Gorges Dam, saying further upstream will stand a wall of concrete and a placid lake emerges in the high rising mountains. Sun Yat sen. A prominent leader in China's modern revolution first proposed the idea of constructing a dam in the Three Gorges region as far back as 1918. The groundwork for the Three Gorges project began in 1955 when surveys, research and planning efforts were initiated. In 1970, the construction of the Gezuba Dam was approved, providing valuable insights for building dams along the Yangtze River, particularly in the Three Gorges area. But it wasn't until 1992 that the construction of the Three Gorges Dam received official legal approval. Two years later, in 1994, the project commenced construction in earnest. The culmination of these efforts was seen in 2009 when the Three Gorges Dam was completed and became operational, marking a significant achievement in China's history. The dam's primary purpose is to generate electricity, and it does so on a massive scale with a total installed capacity of 22.5 gigawatts. When operating at its maximum potential, this facility has the extraordinary capability to provide a consistent source of electricity for over 4.5 million people year-round. This emphasizes the tremendous significance of the Three Gorges Dam as a vital contributor to China's energy generation and its role on the global stage. The dam's construction has increased water levels upstream making it safer and more efficient for larger ships to travel through the region. The increased capacity for shipping and transportation along the Yangtze River has spurred economic growth in the region. The Three Gorges Dam is referred to as the most ambitious and controversial hydroelectric development ever undertaken, in a quote by Jonathan Watts on Goodreads. The dam effectively controls the flow of the Yangtze River, preventing catastrophic flooding in downstream cities such as Wuhan and Shanghai. By storing excess water during rainy seasons and regulating its release, it significantly reduces the frequency of major flooding events. Its flood control capacity is 22.15 billion cubic meters, and 27,000 to 33,000 cubic meters of flood can be reduced per second. Before the Three Gorges Dam was built, there was a flood every decade in the past 2,000 years. Now, guarded by Three Gorges Dam, a hundred-year flood would do nothing to people. When a thousand-year flood occurs, the flood flow can be controlled within 80,000 cubic meters per second in Hubei, which ensures the flood will not become a devastating disaster. The construction of the Three Gorges Dam project was a lengthy process, spanning 17 years from 1992 to 2009, divided into three stages. 
the first stage, from 1992 to 1997, focused on essential groundwork. This included building a cofferdam, digging a diversion channel, and preparing for the main work. Additionally, a temporary ship lock on the left bank of the river was constructed during this period. The second stage, lasting from 1998 to 2003, saw the continuation of cofferdam construction and the building of a permanent ship lock. The power station and machinery installation on the left bank were also completed. By the end of this stage, the reservoir began to store water. The first set of generators produced electricity, and navigation became possible. The third and final stage, from 2003 to 2006, marked the completion of all machinery installation, the entire power station, and the dam itself. It was during this phase that the project reached its full realization. The Three Gorges Dam project had a significant financial undertaking. The initial static investment amounted to $20 billion, and the total expenditure reached $37 billion U.S. dollars. Thirteen cities, 140 towns, and more than 1,600 villages have been submerged under the world's largest reservoir. An official count of 1.3 million people were relocated. The world's largest hydroelectric dam. It generates 11 times as much power as the Hoover Dam by shifting a significant mass of water. The dam will slow the rotation of the earth. The construction and operation of the Three Gorges Dam have been accompanied by significant challenges and problems. The dam's reservoir inundated thousands of cities, towns, and villages, leading to the displacement of approximately 1.4 million people. Building the Three Gorges Dam displaced more people than the three largest Chinese dams before it combined. The reservoir submerged two cities. The dam has had a lasting and profound impact on the environment and wildlife surrounding the Yangtze River. Landslides have become more common in the region since its construction, resulting in significant damage. Also, the dam has put several plant and animal species at risk of extinction, including the Chinese river dolphin and the Chinese paddlefish. Critics have questioned the dam's ability to prevent major floods, especially during extreme weather events. The 2020 monsoon rain, for example, caused the Yanks to overflow, resulting in casualties and prompting concerns about the dam's effectiveness in preventing such disasters. David Shankman, an emeritus professor of geography at the University of Alabama, who has studied flooding on the Middle Yangtze, said the record-breaking water levels showed that the Three Gorges Dam could not prevent severe floods. That's a factual statement, he said. This dam has been fully operational for many years now, and now we have the highest water level ever recorded. There have been concerns about the structural integrity of the dam. Satellite images showing a slightly distorted shape raise questions about its stability. While Chinese authorities dismissed these concerns, Ensuring the dam's safety remains a top priority. It has altered landscapes, economies, and traditional ways of life, leading to social and economic challenges for affected communities. Since partial completion in 2006, there have been reports of cracks, landslides, ecological deterioration, and accumulation of algae. A recent report has raised concerns about the Three Gorges Dam in China. Concerns about the dam's structural integrity were raised when satellite images showed a slightly distorted shape. Some experts and media reports suggested the presence of cracks and substandard concrete. It's been noted that around 80 cracks appeared in the dam shortly after the massive reservoir behind it was filled for the first time. Panji Ajong, who heads the dam inspection team, emphasized the need for careful repairs to prevent water from entering these cracks. While Panjia Jung denied that these cracks posed an immediate threat to the dam's safety, he acknowledged that if left unaddressed, they could expand and lead to leaks. The reservoir now stretches upstream for 350 miles, with a maximum water depth of 440 feet. A failure of the dam could have catastrophic consequences downstream in the densely populated Middle Yangtze Valley. Panjia Jung stressed that there's still work to be done to ensure the dam's integrity and safety especially in light of the recent reopening of some repaired vertical cracks. It looks like that shortcuts may have been taken to meet strict deadlines set by Beijing for political reasons. If the dam were to fail and collapse, it would result in a massive release of water downstream. This flood of water would devastate communities, cause loss of life, and irreversibly alter the landscape.
the lives of more than 400 million people living around the Yance River would be in immediate danger in the event of a dam collapse. Beyond the human tragedy, a dam collapse would have severe economic consequences. It could disrupt industries, damage infrastructure, and lead to substantial financial losses. Engineers and authorities are aware of the risks associated with such a massive structure. Regular inspections and monitoring are conducted to assess the dam's structural integrity and identify any potential issues. The risk of the Three Gorges Dam collapsing is a critical issue that demands continuous attention and rigorous monitoring. While engineers and authorities are committed to ensuring its safety, the sheer scale of the dam and its potential impact underscores the importance of diligent oversight and maintenance. In a paper published on RACO.cat, it is mentioned that the construction of the Three Gorges Dam led to a massive environmental degradation and a collapse that can cause the death of up to 30 million people. The plans for the Three Gorges Dam project encompass various initiatives aimed at enhancing its efficiency and further benefiting the region. Researchers have explored the use of artificial intelligence to optimize the dam's energy generation capabilities. Another significant plan involves the construction of portage railways on both sides of the Yanks River. These railways would facilitate the transfer of cargo from ships as they are carried to the other side of the dam, where they can be loaded onto another vessel. This addition aims to further streamline cargo transit across the dam, making it more efficient and cost-effective. As cargo capacity increases and transportation becomes more efficient, industries and trade are likely to thrive. Plans may also include efforts to mitigate the environmental impact of the dam. This could involve initiatives to protect and restore local ecosystems, as well as research into the preservation of endangered species affected by the dam's presence. Ensuring the long-term safety and functionality of the dam will require ongoing monitoring and maintenance efforts. The Three Gorges Dam stands as a monumental engineering marvel with significant advantages and challenges. This massive project has reshaped the landscape and dynamics of the Yanks River region. Although the Three Gorges Dam represents both a remarkable achievement in engineering and a complex set of challenges and responsibilities, balancing its benefits with its associated issues is an ongoing endeavor that underscores the need for careful planning, monitoring, and environmental stewardship in the world of mega-infrastructure projects. Engineers and authorities will remain vigilant in inspecting the structure and addressing any potential issues promptly.